What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Dendreri Regina. This car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for $8,000, or of course, you can get off the street for free. Now, I do want to mention right out of the gate here, guys, that this car basically has no visual customization, which is a bit unfortunate, but I guess it sort of makes sense considering it's an older station wagon from 2013. Now, the Regina name was first introduced in GTA Vice City, and it was also featured in San Andreas, Vice City Stories, and episodes from Liberty City as well. Now the Regina in GTA 5 does have some variants that you have to find off the street, or of course you can buy it over and over from the website until you get the variant that you want. The first variant is the clean Regina with no roof rack. The second one is the full roof rack with no luggage. The third one is the half rack with luggage. And the last one is the full rack with the luggage, which is the one we're customizing in this video. Now in terms of performance, the Regina is in the sedan's class and is actually the slowest car in that class for both lap time and top speed. And for reference, it's around the pace of a fire truck on a track, which I find absolutely hilarious. But of course, it makes perfect sense on a car like this. It's supposed to be slow. But anyways, in terms of what the Regina is based on, it's primarily based on a combination of different station wagons from the 1960s and 70s, with its main influence from the Plymouth Fury Sport Suburban with the back end mainly based on the 1972 Chevy Chevelle Malibu wagon. A very interesting combination there, but the end result is a pretty unique looking late 60s slash early 70s wagon. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Regina. Alright, Regina. Here we got armor, brakes, engine, lights. We'll keep the stock yellow lights there. Plate, um, do a black background, and I think I got a plate for this. This is a family car, right? Even though I use it for something else, but <laughs> it's a family car, so we'll put that on there. That's the per perfect representation of a family car back in the 70s. Um, respray. Uh, for this one, I think we'll throw one of the chameleon paint jobs on here. I think the red anodized pearl looks great. I'm um, also thinking maybe like a tan color or something, but I think this is a bit more exciting, so add some flair to it. Um, Crumbling for this one goes in the hood. Suspension, definitely lower it all the way. Transmission, turbo, wheels. So the stock wheels on this car, you can see they're very far in and they're decently normally sized. Now when you put any custom wheel on this car, watch what happens. You can see it comes out and the tire itself is a little skinnier, the wheels just a little bit. Um, so you can see kind of a difference there. So honestly, I think the stance of the custom ones are a bit nicer since they come out a bit more. The stocks are definitely way too far in there. I think uh, any custom wheel you put definitely helps out a bit. So if you wanna keep maybe the same stock wheel look, you can go to the um, lowrider category, I believe those are in here. And yeah, here they are right here, the Gooch. So you can put these on there in chrome or whatever you want. And um, see, they're really similar to the stocks there. So that's kind of an option. Um, you can also do like a nice lowrider wheel. So a few, few different types of options here. Um, you can do like a nice muscle wheel if you want something a bit more flashy. <laughs> um, honestly, I think I'm gonna do the the stock wheels or maybe even like the the flares. This one's a bit tough on me for this specific car. Usually, 
you know, I go through a few wheels and I kind of know what I want, but in this specific case, this is definitely a tougher decision for me. And I definitely want to stick with something in the lowrider category because I am going to throw white walls on it, even though it doesn't really belong on this car from the late 60s um, and early 70s, but I think it still looks great and kind of adds um, some color to it in this area. So, uh, you know what? I think we'll do such a tough decision. <laughs> These actually look pretty good. The triple golds, those actually look pretty decent. I think we'll do that. Um, tire design, uh, custom tires, you can see the white walls there. It looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe a bit too much <laughs> for it, but um, it doesn't look bad. You know, actually, I'm, I'm not liking that too much. I'm gonna change it. I, usually I'm not this indecisive in these videos, but um, I'm gonna go a different route here, actually. I'm gonna go Chrome and we'll do the do the Dukes right there and then we'll remove the tire design yeah yeah it looks a lot better okay yeah we'll do that <laughs> sorry for the back and forth guys but that's kind of a dilemma sometimes I have with some of these cars uh, but you know I'm sure most of you guys do that too when you're customizing cars you go back and forth to different options for a while if you're really stuck on something and that just happened to me so <laughs> in terms of windows um, blacked out it looks kind of like a Hearst blacked out <laughs> looks a little strange um i mean i think it definitely needs light tints but maybe just light smoke is flying not anything too crazy there um, and that's all the options all right let's exit to ground looks so funny with the luggage on top <laughs> and of course the wood paneling that is forced so this car doesn't have a secondary color i guess the wood paneling is in place of that which is kind of funny get out into the sun here to see that chameleon anodized pro looks fantastic with these wheels too yeah i'm glad i picked these wheels it looks a lot better Give it a few revs here. It sounds trying to weird, very weird exhaust note. Very strange. It's not like a typical like muscle car exhaust note you would expect or something like that. It's very, I guess, sedan-like, which is the class that it's in. But usually, from a you know late '60s, early '70s car, you'd expect to hear like a rumbly V8, even if it's slow, but Okay. All right. Uh, floor it. Tiny bit of wheel spin. Not much though. Oh, gotta fit through here and then go through here. Oh look, El Camino <laughs> or Picador GTA. Yeah, very slow. We are floored right now. But again, it, I, I kind of want to reiterate here. It's supposed to be slow. This car is supposed to be slow. It's not supposed to be fast. So it makes perfect sense. But I still like poking fun at it for how slow it is. Take a corner. Oh my god. The back end said nope. <laughs> oh my god. That is ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> it said corner. Sorry. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Oh my god, it gave no warning. It just snapped. <laughs> no. What the heck was that? Oh my god. Okay, let's try another corner. I'm kind of scared now. I feel like I'm driving a Viper or something. I'm going to die. What is <laughs> oh my god, it just it just snaps when it does that. It's like you reach the traction limit and then it just boom, wipes like whips all the way around. That is that's 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 pretty crazy. That's uh Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is sketchy. So sketchy to drive. I, I honestly, I've seen these driving around forever, but I've never really decided to drive or customize one for obvious reasons. They're kind of boring, but when you customize it, throw some wheels on it. It's actually pretty fun and interesting to drive. Let me see if I can counter steer it a little bit. Oh, a little decent there. Kind of cuts power, but I'll try again here. We're, we're, we're gonna crash. We're, oh my god. <laughs> what the? Why am I having so much fun driving this thing? <laughs> oh, this is pretty fun. Imagine if this thing had more power. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Higher speed. Oh, yeah. Counter steered it. We're good. That is funny. That is absolutely hilarious. Obviously, this thing doesn't do wheelies. Now, there's some cars that are not in the muscle class that still do wheelies, like the Weevil, for example. It's in compacts. Maybe this one is one of them. Nope. No wheelies on this one. Nope. Sadly, that makes sense. All right. Let's um, 
open up the doors and stuff here. This paint looks really good on this thing. And the wheels, too. I'm actually pretty happy with that. It really transformed it. The, the luggage on top, to me, is a must. I find it absolutely hilarious, the full luggage rack. Uh, even though this one's kind of like having a clipping issue there with the lashes, but... Alright, uh, vehicle doors. Let's open all of them here. Engine model. Decent. Got the air filter there. It's not bad. It's not bad. I've seen this reused in a lot of other cars. Um, interiors, copy and paste muscle car. But, with... Hello. Bruh! This guy is so okay! <laughs> what is that? He's like, who's this idiot recording a video of this crappy station wagon? Who cares? <laughs> I care, okay? It's cool. Yeah, he hasn't driven it. That's why. That's why. He hasn't driven. He doesn't understand. <laughs> so, typical cop muscle car copy and paste interior. Uh, bench seat back there. Looks pretty good. Let's see back here in this area. Texture quality isn't terrible. It's got this really thick carpet style weave back here. Texture, I mean, the texture quality is pretty bad, but um, it's not terrible. Not bad. This is a lot cooler than I thought it would be. This definitely, definitely needs updated customization. I think it deserves it. It may be a speed boost um, to it. This this thing, this thing is <laughs> very, it definitely needs it. That would be amazing. Uh, added speed, added customization. This thing would be a lot of fun to mess around with. Even in its regular form, fully maxed out, it's still a ton of fun. Wow, great suggestion, guys. I'm actually pretty imp impressed with this one. <laughs> I'm not, not going to lie. That is awesome. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and old do you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.